You already know it's BCN and McLaren's don't make sense. I'm going to touch on why you shouldn't be celebrating Mother's Day and why a lot of people love to put people above the Lord. They'll listen to believe anyone. When the Bible says, let no man teach you. And it came to pass as he spoke these things. A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the past was die of such. But the Lord said, Yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Because a lot of people... They like to say, oh, it was Mary, you know, that blessed the Lord, you know, that raised him. No, it's about the Lord's word. It's about his sacrifice. He's the author and finisher of our faith. And a lot of people like to put their moms above him, put their fathers above him, put family members above him. And it's just sad to me because they don't realize what they're doing, celebrating these pagan holidays. When you think about it, look what Matthew 10, 37 says. He that loveth his father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth his son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of y'all don't want to preach the truth. Y'all like the Pharisees. Say to us smooth things. Prophesy to us lies. You know why? Because how forceful. How forceful are right words, right? So at the end of the day, a lot of people don't want to adhere to the truth because they're scared to lose relationships with people. You know dang well the head of the woman is the man, the head of the man is Christ, and the head of Christ is the most high. Y'all don't want to believe in that hierarchy. Women want to be overly masculine. They want to be above the man. These men are emasculated. They don't know how to rule their households well. They don't know how to have their children in all subjection and all gravity. People want to put their mom on such a pedestal when even your father's supposed to be above your mother. And not only that, if you got a mom that's not teaching you the Bible doesn't know how to teach the young women how to love their husbands, how to be holy women, how to dress in modest apparel. If the men are not being raised by their fathers, how to rule the households well, how to be men that are great leaders and spiritual and righteous men, then you can't call yourself a parent. Because the Bible says you should be teaching your kids when they lie down, when they get up, when they're just standing around. The Bible tells you you should be teaching them in all aspects. So if you're not teaching your children about spiritual warfare, if you're not having any type of conviction in your life, being renewed in the mind, meditating on the word day and night, then you're not a good parent. Because the Bible tells you these things that a lot of people will have forsaken households. See, you'll be betrayed by both parents and the brethren. You can look up that verse. See, people better understand something because children are not supposed to lay up for their parents. Meaning you're not supposed to be trying to take care of your mom. You're not supposed to be trying to take care of your father. The Bible tells you children should not be trying to lay up for their parents.